I'm Sergio Luis Noguera Serrano. We are here in Valencia, Spain, 2014, on the fifth international encounter for school here in Valencia, Spain. And uh, I am here with some of my, of some of the students here. We have Sensei Rebecca, we have Sensei Oscar, and Katusin Miguel. And we are studying with Sido Joaman and Sido Juliana, especially uh, many of the traditions of the Sisen culture and especially on the military arts, on the martial arts of the season. Right now, today, we are going to study about Takejime. Uh, Takejime is a, it's a part, it's a piece of what is uh, Torite. Remember that Torite were the ways to, to restrain uh, someone that you need to capture, that you need to get uh, in prison. Then, in this case, Tokujime, uh, take, sorry, Takejime, takates from, from military, from war, and Jime means to close, to lock. Then it's to close or get close uh, what is the war. And are a specific methods uh, inside uh, Torite that uh, looks for ways to, to, uh, to, to choke, to make, uh, to make that the enemy, the prisoner, lose the conscience for after this, uh, making uh, a lock in the special points and breaking or, uh, or taking out from the joint uh, the, the limb. And in this way, uh, we are, I am going to explain and Rebecca San will, Sensei Rebecca will uh, apply the techniques as I will, I will uh, explain the, the very specific details that we need to, to understand to do it specifically what is Takejime and not confused with Torite. Then, for the first uh, sequence, for the first technique that we are going to study, this is a method, remember, we are not inside a kata, we are not inside some specific sequence, uh, we are going to apply the following thing. With the left hand, she will, with the right hand, she will uh, reach what is the lapel here and will push the opponent to the right side with the following idea. In this unbalanced situation, take a look, this arm, the right arm of Miguel San, will be uh, unallowed to take out, to draw any kind of weapon. Then this is the first part that we need to understand, that he would be incapable to react to this uh, situation. Right now, Rebecca San will use her leg in order to pass through over his head in, with the idea of passing and blocking uh, easy, easy on, the, mm -hmm. on the opponent because maybe he, he will lose the conscience. The idea here is to, uh, to weigh back uh, her hips with the idea to, uh, to, to, to choke uh, the neck of the opponent in this way. The idea is not to, uh, to pull with the hands. The idea is that this pressure, this way, makes him to, to lose conscience. With this, with this, it's very interesting because, of course, a, a, a lady, a lady, a lady could apply very, very uh, hard soak to the enemy. In this way, he will lose the conscience. And from here, she will turn the legs, he will grab in this point the arm and will use the legs in order to move backwards and the opponent will go down. Remember, in this, uh, in this situation, he, he, will, he will be uh, without conscience. And right now, she will uh, get out the leg, please and make pressure, step on the shoulder, step on the scapula and pull from the wrist in order to take out, take out the shoulder joint on this point. After this, she will take a rope, like many authority uh, after authority techniques, and will restrain the enemy. This is one of the uh, most typical sequence, most typical ideas applied to, to what it's talking to me. For the next sequence, we are going to start on a uh, very similar way. We'll use the same arm, please. 
and at the same time she will step on very well that's right right she's stepping on the hand in order to take to to restrain or to to be incapable to use this hand but of course he it's uh, he has the condition to to use uh, to use the body in order to defend then she needs to be very fast in order to move forward and put to the side at the same time restraining with her leg on this arm of course right now the arm is not in a in a straight position it's bended right here and it's controlled by the leg by the following movement it's using one more time passing the leg with the idea of waiting down and make the choke one more time he will fall no no please continue he will fall and right now twisting the hips going backwards backside in order to perform the same idea okay very well as you can see it's a variation of the past week. the following technique right now she will make a cross stroke please apply it one side and after this, pass to the side, okay? Can you see the right arm has passed to the right side of the neck. The other one will grab, crushing on this way, and of course she's grabbing the same lapel. With the same lapel we have a cross situation here. Many people have the mistake to pass the leg right now to the side, please, in order to make the choke. Please, or could you do it? It's very difficult about the weight, but of course, he is not in balance on this situation. And of course, from this, he will try to react. Of course, he is being choked. Then, please, Miguel San, try to react moving forward and trying to unbalance or throw. Okay, what do you see? It's a very, very uh, weak position for, for her in this case because she is not applying properly. Then, it's needed to be understand the full details that we could cover in every technique. Then right now, it's very important maybe to move to the side in order to unbalance, please. Can you see, on this situation, it's impossible, it's impossible to react because he has lost the, the balance. And right now, she could apply the leg, please, do it. The left, the left leg, yeah. Right now, I'm weighing down one more time. Now, are you choked? Good. Please do it. Most conscience. And right now, take, catching this arm and moving backwards in order to make the restriction. Or go the legs. Right. Okay. No, no, no. You need to, in this way, please, one more time. We will be in this circumstance. We loosen down. Focus right now. This, we have this. It's without conscience and we have this strong uh, leverage in order to fall him down to the ground. Right now, switch the legs, press and we pull here, uh, lock, the, uh, make a joint lock on the shoulder in order to perform the, uh, to, 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 to take out uh, the joint, right? Mm -hmm. This would be the third example that we will study here. For the next sequence, that we are going to study it's a very, very particular idea. Please, one more time from the back side. It seems that uh, only it's apply on back side situation, but it could be also applied on front side. We will see it in the next sequence. We will perform a very, very interesting, uh, very interesting uh, uh, lock, very interesting leverage here. The first thing that we will do is at the same place we will grab the lapel on this side but blocking on the forearm on the uh, area of the acromion here in order to restrain this side of the body but at the same time we will grab on the other side and from here we will perform a wide a broad movement making to stretch the neck on this side this is very strong. Then remember, we grab on this, making that the forearm way down 
on the shoulder, on the right shoulder, and from here we will reach this. Okay? Please perform that. The right hand. The right hand. Lateral, right? Yes. And I will press in this point, right? Yes, to the forearm. Mm -hmm. By right now, you need to give some space here to place your hand. So you will place this. And the other side, please. It's better that the thumb go inside. inside. Okay. Right? In order to make, to, to, to apply an open movement here. So okay? Open but take care because this could harm very strong. This could harm the, the neck. And this takes out the energy and the force of the body mm -hmm. in order to trying to react. Mm -hmm. the, the neck is very weak here and of course the idea is to have this strong control. It's very violent. Then you need to be careful. After this, that we have this strong control, we continue with this pressure here and right my leg weights here. Remember, the weight is with the idea of my left press down and having a steel choke. What I understand is that you use your body weight instead of your, uh, your muscles against your, your body. Yes, that's right. Okay, then from here, remember one more time, open, right now, go to the side, press here, weighing down, you could try to knee down at the same time, you are controlling with this, the lateral, in order to take out the the conscience by choke technique. So in this case, he's uh, unconscious. Yes. But after this, after. after this, after this, you could go with the same idea to this arm and go into the same side. That's mm -hmm. right, Sergio. When you get you you arrive to the consciousness, um, is it because you're, you're cutting the the blood? Yes. It's a and very it's a very it's a very interesting question of course what we are applying with this sliding this sliding level technique what it's mostly applied it's mostly applied it's a choke to the to the arteries of the neck and of course we are talking about chitomeru to say to stop the blood uh, circulation right and okay, this is a very very uh, very fast technique because uh, the consciousness is lost between six to 10 seconds, after 6 to 10 seconds of full uh, stop of the blood, he will fall unconscious, right? right? And please, mm -hmm. perform the technique one more time. The left leg is passing over. So I will press in even more. Please, take on, take, be careful because the neck is very yes. in a very dangerous position. Right now, you have the control and right when he has lost the conscience, grab the technique and do it. Very well. Let's go to the next sequence. Right now, what we are going to do, please, Miguel, we are going to the front side uh, circumstance. Then, please, uh, uh, face forward to me. Okay? Come on, you can uh, stay still. Okay. The first thing when we are going forward is we need some violent ideas to enter inside. And the first thing that we are going to make is to strike with my tail down, make him to go forward to the back side on this circumstance, okay? That. Then, after this, he could go with the leg and with the, with the arms backward in order to perform this, uh, this stopping side. From this, we are gonna perform the same ideas that we are studying here, okay? We could pass and control and after this, okay, we could pass to this side and make this strong control. After this, take a look, we have this arm on this side. Could you see it? I have here this strong pressure, this strong jime here, choke, and from here, of course, we could go to this side and make this control. Passing. To the side, he is unconscious, and from here, having this control, backward, breaking, and right now, passing the ropes around and making the, the final restriction 
in the world. With this, this is the idea of what it's packaging me. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this explanation. Thank you very much to all our followers and viewers. I hope you have understand and, and learn something more about our season tradition, especially these very clever and, and smart techniques of the season apply to these uh, ideas to capture the enemy. Thank you very much and keep us watching please in order to follow our work here on this fifth international encounter. Thank you very much.